So today's challenge, uh, taking this on leaf, drive it to Doncaster and back and try and make it back in one piece. I've got about an 80 mile round trip. <laughs> My battery is at 70% with about 70 mile range. Uh, so I've got to stop and charge it somewhere, so I'm um, hopefully going to find somewhere and find the experience easy. But I'm going to make a video on that and share it with you, so enjoy. <laughs> strangely feels weird because on a on a petrol or diesel car um, so it's the engine that's generating the heat then you'd give the throttle you give the throttle some to try and uh, heat it up a bit quicker but obviously on an electric car you don't got you've not got that so it's all on a whatever the battery and some kind of electric heating system is doing and it doesn't seem to be doing much it's not working very fast so that's one thing I've noticed so far However, saying that, I do believe you can set a schedule for your car to automatically like, wake up in the morning and start to heat itself up. Maybe I should have looked a bit more into that. Right, windows I think are finally demisted, so I'm going to head off now. So one thing for certain, uh, the range of this car is longer than the range of my bladder. Uh, I've stopped to charge it using the Ecotricity uh, charge point. Uh, a very kind lady stopped to help me. <laughs> this kind lady stopped to help me. Are you in? If you come up to the pumps and they've got on it, yeah. one, two lines there, one says DC, one says AC, it means it's a free recharge ah, okay. to keep an eye out for, for DC yeah yeah so uh, the very kind lady who's also got a Nissan Leaf stop uh, I asked her to help me she did uh, we had a really nice conversation a nice chat uh, I've gone and got myself a coffee while I'm waiting for it to charge um, it was really really simple uh, just pretty much open the app uh, you have to scan a QR code on this charge point that connects the kind of app up and all that business and it gets you up and charging uh, within seconds really probably about 10 20 seconds and i'm charging um, now because i'm not an eco ecotricity customer there's a three pound connection fee and then it charges me 17 pence per kilowatt hour uh, thereafter um, so it's probably going to cost me about a five hour i reckon by the time i'm I've, i'm happy with the amount of charge i've got uh, and then it's on to my destination. Uh, once I'm done at my destination, I'm gonna have to charge a bit to get home as well, um, and catch up a bit more then. So yeah, I've got, apparently this is called a Chadamo connector. And this is the Ecotricity charge point. You can see it, it's the charging. It says 11 minutes left to go. I can stop it early if I want to. So yeah, then you get these lights on the dashboard indicate that it's charging. I'm guessing when all three lights stop charging, that's fully charged. So yeah, the uh, Ecotricity Quick Charger. nearly back home I've not had to charge on the way I'm actually had enough range which was nice so I've gone from Nottingham to Doncaster 
uh, about eight miles in total and it's cost me about five quid which is pretty good I reckon in petrol in my other car would have cost me probably between between 10 and uh, 15 pounds so I've saved money on that which is which is nice um, in terms of what do I think to it I think it's very nice it's a very nice drive nice and smooth really good in traffic um, yeah it's, it's good that way um, and I quite enjoyed it and I'll be sad to give this car back um, the the actual car itself in terms of the look of the leaf um, it's a bit divisive some people love it some people don't um, but I drive a Nissan Duke currently uh, and that's quite divisive as well some people love it some people don't like it it's uh, a bit like Marmite in that way and so is the leaf um, would I get one of these I'm very tempted to go out tomorrow and buy one of these um, I'm going to try a few other EVs. I'm hoping to uh, have a, a, a drive a bit more in a BMW i3. Uh, a Tesla is my dream car, but a bit pricey. I don't think that's achievable for me just yet. Um, but yeah, I've really enjoyed the experience of driving this car. Uh, and I'd say to anyone who's not sure about EV, um, whether they could live with it, one in, with in the daily life um i'd say just give it a go try it um go for a driving one the driving experience i think would sway a lot of people it's much nicer than most cars i've ever driven um and this nissan leaf um is not that expensive compared to um, petrol and diesel equivalents um so yeah it is good okay one thing i think is a a little bit strange is this car's really high tech everything's digital apart from the handbrake the handbrake is on a foot pedal uh sometimes it's hard to find that foot pedal when you're reaching for it with your foot but i'm, I'm guessing over time uh, when you're more used to it you'll find it straight away but what i find weird about it is like i say everything's digital uh but this uh the handbrake foot pedal is mechanical and when you press it you hear this, this sound <laughs> It's a, it's a weird thing to have in a car where everything else is like touch screen or it's, it's digital displays, um, etc. But then you've got that mechanical handbrake and I think that's something, um, it would be better on a, just an electronic button or something like that. Um, but maybe in the, the 2018 version of the Leaf, um, they do something different like that. So I just find it, it's really odd in this type of car. A fabulous. What do you think, Caitlin? It's amazing. <laughs> cool. What do you think, El? Supercolor, fragilistic, expelling, ocean.